I am Ben with the BTC Sessions. I'm here in the East Village checking out Studio Bell in Calgary, Canada. And today I'd like to talk to you about how to set up a multi-signature wallet using Copay. Now what is a multi-signature wallet? Basically, this is splitting up the responsibility of approving transactions amongst either multiple devices or multiple people. So, as an example, maybe you have three people that are going to uh, basically take responsibility for a wallet and in order to successfully send a transaction, two of those three people would need to approve it. Now, I've covered Copay in the past, uh, so I'm not going to do a full run through of how the wallet works for basic functionality, um, but they have done an update since my last video, so it does look quite a bit different. Luckily, I've also done a video on a wallet called BitPay, which is by the same company, and the layout is basically identical. So if you'd like to figure out how to work Copay just on a very basic level, please head over to my BitPay wallet video. I will link it in the cards and down below in the description. For now, let's check out how to do multi-signature using Copay. Okay, so here I am with the desktop version of Copay. Uh, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the plus sign in my already created wallet, and you have some options. I can create a new personal wallet, a shared wallet, I can join a shared wallet, or I can import it. And right now we're gonna create a shared wallet. So I click on that, and I can put in a name for the wallet. So I'll change this from test to my shared wallet. Uh, you can put in your name, uh, and here you're going to put in the number of people that will have access to this wallet. Um, so for myself, I'd like to do two, uh, and down below it, you can see the number of required signatures. So that means the number of people required to approve a transaction. So if I go up, say I wanted to make this uh, a five copay wallet, so that means five people have access, I would then choose the number of people that I would like to need in order to approve that transaction. For myself, I just want to do two of two. That means I need to have two wallets approving every transaction. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to hit down at the bottom where it says create two of two wallet. Now here, I get uh, my invitation to my co-payers, which means I can do a couple things. You can click this QR code, which will save this code down below it, and you could text that or message it over Facebook or whatever you want to do. You can paste it somewhere and send it to the other person you'd like to join the wallet. Now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use this QR code here. I'm going to scan it with my phone. So I'm going to pull out my phone here and I'm going to open up my Copay app. So as soon as it opens up, uh, similar to the other screen, uh, I can see my wallets are down below. I only have one right now, but if I hit that plus sign, I'm going to get those same options. So when I hit plus, I'm going to go and I'm going to click on join shared wallet. And here is where I can put in my nickname. So for this one, I'll put in Benny. And then down below here, I can either paste in that code that somebody texted or messaged me, or I can go over to the right where there's this little square. And this square opens up my camera and it will instantly scan that QR code on my computer screen. After that, all I have to do is I hit join, and I've now created this multi-signature wallet with two members. So think of it as a joint account. So there's my two wallets on my phone, and I have two wallets on my computer. If I click into the wallet, you can see it's a brand new wallet. It has no funds in it, no transactions, nothing like that. And same here on my computer screen, I have my shared wallet. I click into it. There's no funds in it yet. So what I want to do right now, actually, is... I would like to receive funds into my multi-sig wallet. So if I hit receive down at the bottom, you can see I now have two wallets and I can flick between the two of them. So I can go from personal to shared. All right. So all I'm going to do right now is with this QR code on the screen, I'm going to send some money from another wallet I have on my phone. So super simple off screen here. I'm just going to scan that QR code. Uh, I'm going to send over 20 Canadian dollars 
and just like I would with a regular wallet transaction. Um, and all I'm going to do is, yeah, I want to send it from my personal wallet. Um, I'm just going to hit slide to send. That will create the transaction and send it instantly. Uh, and that is from my own personal wallet. So here on the screen, if I go click into my shared wallet now, uh, you can see whoop, you can see that there are twenty dollars incoming. You do not need to do anything special to accept funds into a multisig wallet. Now to send from the multisig wallet, this is where both parties need to approve the transaction, or as many parties as you've deemed necessary for your wallet. So I'm going to hit the send button down at the bottom here, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to send to my personal wallet. So I'm, what I'm doing is I'm actually transferring money from my multisig to my personal wallet. I'm going to send the max amount and I can select that I want to send it from my shared wallet. Um, so it shows me the amount, everything that's in there. Uh, and now you can see it's going to my personal wallet from my shared wallet. This would be the same if I had scanned somebody else's QR code. Exact same idea. I just happen to want to send it within my own wallets here. So I'm gonna hit click to accept. And what this will do is, first I have to confirm, but it's gonna create a proposal. And so that means that it's now sending a notification to my phone for the other device to approve. So you can see here that it shows that uh, I've accepted and created a proposal. And it's now waiting on the other wallet to approve the transaction. So if I open up the wallet on my phone and I go to my shared wallet, once it updates, you can see there is a proposal and it says sending. And if I click into this proposal, uh, I will have the power to reject or approve this transaction. So I see all the details. I see how much is being sent. I see what address it's going to. I see it's coming from my shared wallet and it was created by Ben. And uh, I can see that it's been accepted by the other party and created by the same party. So I have some options here. So I can slide to send at the bottom or I can hit reject up top. So I'd like to approve this transaction. So I just slide to send at the bottom. Payment is sent and that's it. The money has been sent from there. And uh, on my screen, that little sending notification up top is gone. And I can see now that I have incoming cash to my personal wallet. So I can see that new transaction has popped up and I'm receiving funds. So basically, I've just used two separate wallets to approve an individual transaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, drop a tip if you're able to, and share this video. I'll see you guys next time on the BTC Sessions.